The Sioux Greyhounds are currently in the midst of what they hope will be a long and successful playoff run, leading to an Ontario Hockey League championship. However, the Greyhounds also have their minds on the future. They recently restocked their talent through the Ontario Hockey League Priority Selection Draft. All right, Kyle, uh, first of all, give me a general assessment uh, of the draft as far as uh, how you thought it went for the Sioux Greyhounds. And uh, the typical question for every GM, did you get what you wanted? Well, you know what? It's always interesting when you're picking where we were today. Obviously, I mean, you had a great season up to this point, And there was a lot of different scenarios we looked at. But, you know, for the guys that kind of slot in where we were picking, uh, we were ecstatic about it. Okay, tell us about your first rounder, Liam Howell. What can fans expect from him? Well, what you can expect from Liam is something that, you know, we pride ourselves here with the Greyhounds, obviously something that separated us from a lot of teams this year were players that could think the game, could play with a high level of skill, and I think that's something uh, in, that's incorporated in a 6-1 frame that we're really excited about. And how about the second rounder, uh, Anthony DeMio? Uh, give us a scoop on him. Yeah, Anthony's uh, another big pl defenseman, obviously very smooth skater, um, a lot of high offensive tools and someone that we're excited about stepping in the lineup next year. Was there any surprise pick that you that you got in the draft that maybe you thought wouldn't be there or that uh, is kind of flying under the radar? You know what? Um, each one of our guys, it's kind of it's a funny spot when you're picking 22nd overall and then uh, at 61, it's kind of you're not sure who's going to slide down to you and you kind of have to wait and see in a lot of cases. But we're we're happy with the two guys we got in those spots. Now, as far as the fans go, um, a lot of times when you're having this successful season, uh, people say, well, the next year is not going to be very good. But the Greyhounds really have a plethora of talent that uh, next year they should be very competitive, right? Yeah, definitely. It was kind of a luxury we had this year because... A lot of times people ask, you know, are you looking for specific positions? But at the same time, with the nucleus we have coming back, it allowed us just to take the best player available. As far as uh, stocking the team for next year, uh, what's going to be your biggest concern as far as, obviously, guys like D'Angelo and Nurse and the blue line? Is that going to be the main concern? Yeah, I think there's a good group of forwards. Uh, obviously, both goalies uh, return next year. But at the same, we're going to be a little bit younger on, on the blue line. But there's been some guys that have taken some big strides this year that are going to be returning. You know, Borman, White, um, even... You know, look at Tyler Hoare, how much we've missed him in the last little bit. You know, those are guys that played big minutes when we had some injuries in that midseason run. So it's something that they're going to hopefully take a step over the summer, and, and this will be a great experience here in the playoffs for them. Kyle, what's your personal view about scouting? I mean, obviously it's hard to project where a 15-year-old is going to be in three or four years. Is it is it just the luck of the draw sometimes? And I'm not talking about the first round. It's maybe like the sixth, seventh, eighth round of the draft. I think with all of them, I think something that we looked for, especially this year, is just players that think the game at a high level and obviously have that skill because a lot of times these guys are 15 years old right now. You don't know where they're going to be at August. You know, you're hoping everyone's going to take big strides, and some will do it this year. Some are going to be a year from down the road. So it's just important that you, you find some of those intangibles that aren't always taught, and then obviously when they come into our program, we can develop them further. The newly drafted players will be in Sault Ste. Marie around mid-June to participate in an orientation camp. For Go Sault Ste. Marie, I'm Gino Cavallo.